Hey guys, today I am doing a tutorial on Linux in general. Um, and I'm not actually not a tutorial on Linux as much as just a tutorial on Ubuntu itself because I'm running Ubuntu. And I want to give you the, uh, for people that don't know about Linux and open source software, which I talk about constantly. But for those of you who don't know about it, I want to give you an opportunity to learn about this in a short amount of time. Now, for people that, uh, just throw it out here, people that use, now just, you can just read the preamble and go along, for people that use, uh, Windows, which is about a good percentage of America, uh, is it 95%? I don't know what the exact numbers are, but that's my guess. Um, for a good amount of people that use, uh, Windows, uh, Windows, uh, 2000, Windows 2000, small percentage, uh, higher percentage would be Windows XP, Windows Vista, Windows 7. If you're using Windows Vista, you should get rid of it, because Windows Vista does not work. Windows 7, it works, stable, but still yet unstable. If you want a stable, free operating system that is completely free, completely legit, like, Windows will come with a couple free software. You know, it'll come with, oh yeah, it'll come with some games, but by the way, you gotta buy these games after you play them once. Um, or it'll come with some free games. Uh, it does not come with Office. It does not come with, it, it comes with a sound recorder. But the, the programs that it comes with are crappy. Let's put it that way. And for people like me that use their OS, their operating system, or their PC, um, for basically internet use. And you don't really use it for too much else. You use it for internet. You save images. You have a camera. You know. You have a digital camera, you save images to here, you save, you know, this, you save, you save a couple things, you know, you're not an extreme heavy user to the computer, but you're more of an internet user, and you use stuff like Google Docs to pack your documents, use the internet, use your tools that are uh, to you, if you will, and you want something free, instead of using something that you've been paying for, and yet you need to keep paying for it. Well, I have brought to you Ubuntu. Um, Ubuntu is a completely free, as I've said before, completely free. Ubuntu, Fedora, any, basically any Linux operating system, and mostly open source software is free. Obviously, because the software is posted on the internet, the free copy, and stuff like that so all you have to simply do is go onto Ubuntu's website and download it and it will take roughly about an hour and a half to download depending on your connection and if you have a fast enough connection I am going at 3 megabits per second uh, for DSL and it took me about an 2 hours, an hour and a half to download it and if you wish to do so then you can download it and burn it to a CD now actually, it's just over, it's like 800 megs instead of 700, and 700 megabytes, and you're probably going to have to, so you're going to have to burn it to a DVD, and when you burn it to a DVD, make sure it is a DVD-R, it doesn't matter if it's a plus R or a minus R, just it has to be an R and not an RW, if it is an RW, it, good chances it might, it's probably not going to work, because the uh, session is not closed uh, on a R, and you have to burn it as an exo image. So, either you can get the um, CD off the internet, uh, but the CD costs money because obviously they take the any money for producing the CD, and the CD is roughly $12. Um, but if you get it off the internet, it is absolutely free and you burn it yourself. Um, and I'm just showing you as we go along here some of the free applications, and this does come with legit applications. This is not bullshitting you. Um, this is free applications that it comes with, Ca uh, calculator, that Windows comes with a calculator, yeah. but just to show you the calculator anyway, we will open it up for you, uh, there it is, bam, boom, bam, advanced, financial, scientific, 
program. Oh, that's the gross one. Um, and this is legit. This is no. This actually, all the software that is on here is all available for download. Uh, on the internet anyway. Most of the software that's on here is all available for download for free. Uh, anything actually, anything you see on here is going to be free for download. Facebook is an application. Um, except for Wine, any of the Wine programs, uh, I believe that's all free as well. Aim is free. That's. Uh, I'll go into Wine a little bit wait later. Um, Wine is not part of the pack. This is my pro, uh, files that I've downloaded. But all these files from sound and video to accessories are all part of this thing. And it comes with it. This use of generalizer games. All this stuff is absolutely free. And you don't have to pay a dime for it. And it comes with things except for Google Dust. Um, I downloaded that myself. And it comes absolutely free. GIMP is free download. Go to GIMP.org and you can download it for your computer right now. Um, Wireshark, Wi-Fi, Ubuntu One, uh, Sync, which is uh, syncing your thing. Skype, you could download free. Pigeon Messenger, you could download free. Uh, Pigeon Messenger is also one of my past videos. Um, it's an online email uh, uh, chat client. Uh, Google Talk, which is a messenger. Um, all this stuff, all of Google software is actually open source as well. Most of the Google software is open source. Um, and it is all available. If you want to get software for Ubuntu, everything is free. As I said, everything is free, legit. There's no trial crap that you're going to deal with like Windows. And um, you choose specifically what you want to get. Now, uh, uh, again, Ubuntu does not support all software. So if you're going to go and to Ubuntu, be prepared to make some changes and not be able to use your favorite software. Uh, if you're family tree made for a user, I suggest just using the family tree on Ancestry.com uh, because the family tree maker on Ancestry.com because Ancestry.com does not work with Ubuntu or any other Linux programs. 